you will provide a service as a cleaning company that is really necessary for people's daily lives at home and at work. The same service is offered by commercial and residential cleaning companies, but their needs vary in terms of supplies, customers, and marketing. This is a key stage to ensure that you can manage your company effectively and begin establishing a loyal customer base, even if there are upfront fees. If you're launching your company from scratch, you must first choose a name for it and submit the necessary documents for company creation. Select your business structure before you begin. In this manual, we'll show you how to launch a cleaning company as a side hustle or a full-time job. 5 Steps for Starting a Cleaning Business Before starting, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. So let's start. Step 1. Know your market. When considering opening a cleaning company, you should investigate competing companies in the neighborhood and the services they provide. What more services can you provide if they are in your industry? To promote repeat business, you may also consider including incentives in your price structure. You must examine reviews on Google and Yelp as part of your study to determine the most common praises and criticisms. You can close the market's gap if clients want alternatives with greater flexibility. Step 2. Choose your specialty. You'll next need to choose an area of concentration for your firm based on your market research. Are business services more in demand in your region than residential services? Where is there the least competition for you? Consider your options carefully as they will affect the kind of training and insurance you need. Commercial cleaning services. Offices, hospitals, schools, retail shops, and other sizable places where companies are located are cleaned by a commercial cleaning company. Large enterprises that need janitors to maintain things tidy and clean so that customers may walk around the premises comfortably might use this service. Consumer cleaning services. Working in homes or other household settings is a requirement of consumer cleaning. Because it's their personal area, your customer will probably give you additional instructions, and they could even have varying requirements from week to week. Your housekeepers must be flexible and considerate of the client's residence. Step 3. Generalist or niche. You may opt to specialize in that industry even after deciding to go the consumer or commercial cleaning path. You may focus on cleaning schools as a professional cleaner and use products that have been approved as kids safe. You should stock up on particular supplies and cleaning techniques for hospitals if you want to deal with them. Another effective niche business is to provide flexible, customer-selected solutions for residential services. Families require dependable services, therefore marketing your services to households with small children is an excellent approach to grow your clientele. Step 4. Set your rates. The three options for pricing a cleaning service are hourly, flat, and based on square footage. Both flat fees and hourly prices are acceptable for consumer and business cleaning. It can be wise to begin with an hourly charge for residential properties before figuring out how long it will take your cleaners to complete the typical single-family house. Commercial cleaning companies often use rates based on square footage. It makes sense to just calculate by how big the room is and how much effort you'll have to commit to the space as you're conducting more routine and repeated job. Step 5. Budget for transport, equipment and more. When creating your first budget, consider every step that your company's personnel may experience when cleaning. If you need any specialist tools, you should get them up front so you can get started right away. Your staff may also need to get training for specialized equipment like floor waxers. You could also need to offer transportation for your personnel in addition to moving equipment. However, even if you anticipate that workers would find their own way to the working site, a skilled person from your business should supervise the transfer of the items and guarantee that they arrive at the task site. Budget for transportation should be taken into account right away. The cost of cleaning supplies will be significant. You'll need a lot of cleaning supplies, such as brooms, mops, disinfectants, worker safety gear, and more, in addition to specialist cleaning equipment. It's crucial to maintain them fully supplied in case of supply chain interruptions or other unforeseen events, particularly during a busy week. This is it for today's video. What do you think of our video? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Thanks for watching.